So I'm here at PS4 launch day at Best Buy and check out that line. I'm about to stand in it because it's about this time, everyone. We're going to do this. PS4. Like an assembly line. I'm not three. Forty three. Okay, everyone, here it is. Uh, just pulled out of Best Buy. Gonna check this bad boy out. And uh, gonna take it home and I'm doing an unboxing. See how this bad boy fares. Be right back. What's up, everyone? I'm back. I'm back from Best Buy. That's the PS4 right in front of you. The game that I chose to get is Assassin's Creed for Black Flag. Um, they had many, many, many other games there, and I chose this one mainly because it's a really long game, and I'm into the long games. So, um, let's get right to this unboxing. Let's get this open, because there's going to be some server issues, if I'm not mistaken, due to everybody trying to um, get up and get their updates going. So, I'm going to do the same, so let's get right to this. I'm going to cut the seal now, and uh, open her up, so hold them up. Okay, I cut the seal off, and I'm about to do this unboxing. I'm just going to show you everything that's in this box, just to show you all that comes in this really, really cheap-looking box. They really dumbed it down this time. I'm not really... I'm not really feeling this box as a console box. It looks like an ordinary laptop box and uh, just not fitting for something that's something as big as PS4. So um, I'm just hoping that this this system lives up to um, all the bragging that has been going on. So this is a 500 uh, gig one, by the way. So let's go ahead and show all that's inside. Wow, right off the bat, you get a nice PS4 controller. Um, this is the first time I'm holding one. This feels pretty good. Um, I'm not a big fan of the PS4 controllers. Don't hate me because I am, but I, I'm just, oh wow, wow, this really does feel pretty damn good. Wow, oh my god, yeah, this feels good. I wonder if that screen turns on. Okay. Next here we have a bunch of manuals. Um, this is looking like a poster. No, it's a manual. Oh, that's the PlayStation Plus, which is something that you now have to have. Uh, from what I'm to understand, um, some employee at the store was trying to sell me this, and I'm like, oh my god, you're going to Xbox on us, huh? Okay, next we get a pair of some cheap headphones. Pretty cheap. Next, we have a USB cable for, I'm guessing, the controller. 
to recharge it. Comes with a pair of some cheapies, HDMIs. Uh, Should have took the chick's advice at the store and upgraded to some better ones because these look really, really cheap. And then lastly in the box, the power cord. And there it is, everyone. Look at this thing. Absolutely gorgeous. Sleek. Just, man, this thing looks pretty wicked. Let me go ahead and stand this bad boy up. I'm tripping on this design. It's pretty crazy. It's, it's nothing I've ever seen before. And there's two USB slots right there for the controller. Absolutely gorgeous. I, I, I absolutely... Look at its predecessor, the PS3. I mean, that thing was just huge. Look at that thing. And then, you go to this. That is pretty wicked. You know what? I'm going to do a side-by-side. -side. That is one sexy beast. Um, the side-by-side -side comparison... Just look at the difference. The style, sleek. I love the black. This is a dull black. This is a shiny, glossy black. This, on the other hand, is all chromed out. All glossy. Um, this was the launch, PS3 launch. And this is the PS4 launch. They look really nice. This one weighs... T oh, God. I don't even know... A herd of cows, while this one weighs a litter of kittens. Well, there you have it, everyone. I'm going to get this bad boy up and going, get this thing started. This thing's going to take some time to get updated. So I hope you enjoyed my unboxing and the process of getting this bad boy. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out, y'all. First off, I just want to show that there's a light that turns on, and it changes colors every so often. It's pretty cool. And this is the new look of PS4. Look at all those cool games. Look at that. One's already free. Look at that. Digital download free. It's a $15 game and it's already free. I forgot to mention um, the reason why, uh, one of the reasons why I picked up this game also was because it had, let's see if we can get this focused, hold on, there we go, it has a remote play feature, now for those of you who don't know what remote play is, um, it allows you to enable your play through your Vita. So you don't have to be bogged down in front of your TVs. And uh, you can just take your Vita on the go. You can access your games through your Vita. Wherever you can take your Vita, you will be logged in through your, through your PlayStation. As long as you have the game in there, you can play it through your PS Vita. So just a little tit for tat, everyone. If a game has remote play on it, you can use your Vita for it.